Thank you, everybody, for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, so welcome to Doug's Day. My name is Davey Smith. I'm going to be your Master of Ceremonies MC today. So welcome to Doug's Day. So we were trying to think of the best way to honor Doug for his long and uh, amazing career. And I was thinking that maybe he could just give a talk for 12 hours on all his papers. <laughs> And then I thought it'd be fascinating, but um, he did not like that idea, apparently. So we had another discussion. Um, being the most cited man in HIV or person in HIV research uh, goes a long way and could give a lot of very interesting talks. But what I think he's maybe even more proud of is all the lives that he's touched along the way, both as his patients and in uh, training. So we brought together uh, some people who could who he's touched, myself included, in terms of our careers, and decided to let them talk about the research um, that's going forward. So we made comments for Dr. Brenner, just to make sure I had everything, but yes. So that's the, how we came up with Doug Day, and our purpose is also to embarrass him as much as possible. Um, so feel free, we won't roast him. I also thought that was a good idea. So when I introduce people today, if you don't mind, uh, for the speakers, just tell us a little bit about who you are, but then I'm gonna also ask you, uh, what's a good Doug story? And it's maybe when the first time that you met him or something like that, and that might be a good way to uh, remember it. But it is now my uh, privilege to introduce uh, Assemblyman Todd Gloria and my friend, so who's represented uh, me, uh, both in La Jolla and Hillcrest, and when he was a council member, and, uh, and now as an assembly member, and uh, I'm very honored to know you, and I really appreciate everything that you've done for my community, LGBT and HIV research, always been uh, there to fight the good fight, so thank you for coming. Thank you, Davey, indeed, my friend. And it's great to see Davey grow in his role and to see all of you here today. I, uh, uh, I wanted to come on behalf of the state of California to acknowledge this important day, Doug Day. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Um, and I want to first just start off expressing my appreciation to everyone who's in this room, everyone who collectively uh, is creating this innovative uh, economy, this innovative community that we have in San Diego that I think uh, speaks well. Uh, when I travel to Sacramento, uh, I get to point out that I represent San Diego. And funnily enough, people sort of fawn over me. They don't do that for the guy from Bakersfield or the guy from Modesto. Uh, we have such a reputation here, and it's more than the climate. I like to say San Diego gets by on its good looks. But we tend to be able to back it up with some high quality research, innovation, and other kinds of things that make me so proud to be your state representative. And I think that's why I'm here today, because Dr. Doug Richman uh, is a part of that legacy. And while I don't have a personal Doug story, we just had a chance to say hello a moment ago, I did reflect on the fact that much of uh, the work that we're doing in Sacramento is reflective of Doug's many decades of research and uh, work in the field of HIV. Um, but importantly, even my public service is a part of that. And so let me just explain. Uh, earlier, uh, actually just a couple of weeks ago, Governor Newsom signed into law uh, a groundbreaking piece of legislation that I co-authored, which allows Californians direct access to PEP and to PrEP. Uh, so no, uh, no need to uh, go directly to your primary care provider. Uh, in instances of exposure, you can get immediate access to PEP uh, from pharmacists. Uh, you can get a, a, a limited trial of PrEP. Uh, without uh, doctor's notification. We know that these drugs uh, are transformational in the ability to stop the transmission of this virus, as well as people's ability to stay negative. Naturally, Doug's research has helped to inform those medications and the ability to make them widely available. Um, that is only possible uh, because of this work, and I'm proud of what California is doing to build upon that work to provide more direct access. But I think even more important was a bill I did a year before that. And I think we all know, those of us who were around during the 80s and the 90s, when, how scary a disease uh, this was. I look across this audience and I see many people who've been involved in this fight for a very long time. You recognize the stigma behind it really resulted in public policy that's different than the bill I just described to you. In fact, California uh, very interestingly made having the transmission of HIV a felony in California different than every other infectious disease on the books. It is a crime to transmit uh, uh, 
uh, other kinds of, of viruses, um, but those were all misdemeanors. Only HIV was singled out to be a felony, punishable, obviously, by many years in jail. We were able to do a bill about a year ago that changed that and aligned HIV with all the other infectious diseases. I'm not here to tell you it's not a crime. I'm here to tell you it's no more severe a crime than other diseases. That equity, we believe, does two things. One is it just is pure fairness. But secondly, it makes sure that people are one step closer to stepping out and getting tested. And we know that getting tested is getting into care, which means not spreading the disease. Doug's research is the, what allows us to take that stigma that was there in the, the mid-1980s when these original laws were passed, to undo them, here we are nearly 30 years later, and create a world where we think that we can actually stop the spread of this disease. In fact, that's the stated goal of the state of California, the county of San Diego, the city of San Diego, and I don't know how you feel about the president, but he sort of said that he's interested in this too. We'll see if he can back it up with the money uh, and the manpower to do it. It's a long way of saying the world has changed over Doug's many years of work, and that's why I wanted to be here, because California is known for innovation. It's known for being uh, on the cutting edge, both of LGBTQ equality, uh, but as of course, HIV is a disease that affects far more than the LGBT community, uh, and so Doug has helped contribute to that brand that is California. Uh, the last thing I would say is that I am the fifth gay man to serve in the California legislature. California has been around since 1850. I'm only the fifth to ever serve. And I recognize a lot of that has to do with social stigma and historic barriers. But I also recognize that as the fifth man to serve, that also has very much to do about the plague that is HIV. And the fact that many people who are qualified and able to serve never got to serve because they didn't live. I'm able to live as an HIV negative man because of the work that Doug and so many of you have done to make sure that this disease is not transmitted as easily, that folks are in care, and that we're changing the narrative such that we don't see this as a death sentence, but we see this as a manageable chronic long-term disease. That's the world that we live in today. That's the world that Doug has helped to make possible. And that is precisely why I'm here today on behalf of the California legislature and Governor Gavin Newsom to present the certificate to Doug Richmond, uh, acknowledging him for his many decades of service, for his transformational research, and for the efforts that you've done to save lives and to improve lives here in the state of California and all around the world. So we're proclaiming this to be uh, Dr. Douglas Richmond Day in the state of California, and I'm proud to present this certificate to you, Doug. Thank you for your many years of service.